how can i solve the invalid hyperlink malformed uri error whenever i am trying to read config or any other excel in ui path that is what we are going to see in this video hi everyone welcome back to the what why and the how series on this youtube channel where i am trying to answer the questions received over the instagram youtube email or simply in the comments right so today we are going to see how we can resolve this invalid hyperlink malformed uri error my name is mukesh kala i am a four times ui path most valuable professional and a linkedin top voice as well i have shared my linkedin details on the page feel free to send me a connection request and also we have a small whatsapp community which you can scan the qr and join the whatsapp community to receive the latest updates from the youtube channel okay and lastly in case you also have some questions which you want me to cover in this series feel free to write in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well okay so with that let's get started with today's topic which is how do i resolve this error okay so we are going to cover it in two parts the first part would be first i would be going to discuss that why actually this error is coming and then we are going to discuss two ways of solving this issue depending on your situation you are supposed to actually use one of the way right but i would request you to please watch the complete video so that you can choose the exact solution for yourself okay so this is the error guys and let's get started okay so first thing first let me just go to my ui path studio okay and i have a code which is written here which is trying to read an excel i'll just go here and i'll say run the file okay so first i want to actually recreate the error and you can see that this is the error which you might be facing right a malformed URI, blah 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 something into the uh, error is coming and if you notice here it says that exception type is document format dot open xml packaging right you might be thinking i am trying to read an excel why i am getting an xml error right so before i go to the solution first as a developer it is important to understand the root cause and then we'll go and try to fix that okay so i hope this is the error which you are getting and let's now discuss why actually that error is coming so that error is coming because the file which you are trying to read or the excel you are trying to read has something which is called non-standard hyperlink it may be an email address something like this which is uh, in a not in a correct format or you have a hyperlink to a path into the excel or the workbook right so this might be the root cause okay now this as we have seen in the error this was showing that this is because of the closed xml now what exactly that is the issue is due to the closed xml which is a third party dependencies which is a part of the excel activity package right so to read the excel uipath is using some third party dependency which is of the closed xml and the way it interacts is window based system libraries to interpret the urls so basically windows is trying to use the windows based system libraries to interpret the url and closed xml when it is trying to read the url it's not able to read it and uipath cannot actually control it so that's why it is giving you that closed xml error from the excel package which has a dependency on the closed xml right so that's why that error now let's talk about the solution now the first workaround and the solution okay so considering the limitation of the closed xml the primary workaround is recommended would be to use the excel application scope to handle the excel interaction with such data it does not have a direct dependency on the closed xml and it would be able to handle the urls right so let's try to use the first suggestion which is to use the excel interaction which is using the excel application scope right let's try to see what actually does this mean so i'll go back to my uipath studio and here let me just show you what actually is causing the error right so if you see here i am trying to read a file which is in data slash config and i am trying to read the setting sheet now if i show you the file okay this is the excel which i am trying to read and you can see here i have got two urls which 
आर काइंड ऑफ मेल फॉर्म्ड और आई हैव जस्ट मेक इट सम मेल फॉर्म्ड यू आर इन द बैकग्राउंड आई हैव जस्ट एड सम एक्स्ट्रा जंग कैरेक्टर्स टू देम सो दैट्स वाई दीज आर मेल फॉर्म राइट सो नाउ इन माई एग्जिस्टिंग कोड विच इज ब्रेकिंग आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू यूज अ रीड रेंज एक्टिविटी फ्रॉम द वर्क बुक दिस इज नॉट द एक्सेल एप्लीकेशन स्कोप राइट एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज गिविंग अस दैट एरर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट नाउ द सजेशन विच यू आई पाथ गिव अस वॉज टू यूज द एक्सेल एप्लीकेशन स्कोप ओके सो लेट्स गो टू एक्टिविटीज and uh, i'll go to the filter and i'll just say filter by category and i'll use this guy which is the classic right and then you can use the modern excel uh, activities as well so i just go here and i say excel application scope this is the classic one right drag and drop it here right and by the way guys in case you are new to excel automation we have a dedicated playlist on excel automation okay now where is the workbook path i'll just point it to the data and the config right and then inside that now this time i would be using the read range from the excel and not the workbook okay this is the read range this read range is from the workbook and then what is the sheet name i'll just use this guy settings right and then in the output i just say control k dt underscore data from excel okay so i'm reading that data into the excel and to validate if it is working fine or not i'll just put a log message activity okay and into the log message i'll just try to print the count from the data table which would guarantee me that uh, the excel was read successful right dt excel just move it like this okay dt excel dot rows start count dot to string okay so now the same excel sheet now i am trying to read as per the recommendation with the help of excel right and i can just comment out this guy which is the read range of the workbook and let's go here and i try to say run the file okay so now the same excel with those urls and if i go to the output you can see that i was successfully able to get the count and then you can do the next set of operations right so the first solution for you was you can actually go and utilize the excel application scope into your solution right now is the solution will work for everybody the answer might be no two reason for that right you might not have the excel installed on your uh, server machine right and the second reason is you might be using it as a part of a framework such as robotics enterprise framework where you do not have an option to change the excel application scope right now to showcase that if you see here this complete solution is robotics enterprise framework and the config when re framework actually reads the config it is actually reading it in the init all settings if you see it is reading it with the help of workbook activities right which means that re framework thinks that in the server machine the excel might or might not be there right that's why it's read with the help of the read range activities right now this is the same process this is my robotics enterprise framework right and now if i just go and i have made the changes in the config directly right so if i go and say run the file which is part of my big project i don't have excel installed on the server this solution will not work for me and the same error i am getting into the config right while i am reading the config i am getting the same error right so this was the same error which was i actually i was getting into my uh, small workflow as well right so i'll just disable this excel application scope and enable this as well okay so i hope this answers your question that why my config is getting break right because your config is reading the excel with the workbook and not with the excel application scope right so one quick fix use the excel let's talk about the other one okay so this one works 
if I am using the Excel application scope, right? So we have seen that this work. The other solution is there is a secondary workaround, okay, uh, which involves removing the hyperlinks from the workbook file, which could resolve the error and make the workbook work with workbook activities. Okay, so in simple words, it says that just go to the config file and remove the hyperlinks from the workbook and that should actually re reduce the error however if you do that this is a secondary workaround the workbook file will can get reinserted with hyperlinks sometimes if you are giving having a big config a lot of people have access to it this approach always has a risk that sometime if you again add hyperlinks in future this approach will be tedious and every time you have to go and modify the workbook right so depending on your situation if you have an option to use the excel application scope one time fix go ahead and use it however in case let's say it is running in a production it's a very big process you don't want to touch it and you are in full control of the config and you are pretty sure that nobody is going to add more urls to it go ahead and use the secondary approach let me quickly show you how does that work so for that i'll just simply go to the config file right this is where the error was and I just select this complete uh, thing where it is having right click and I say remove the hyperlinks and now the hyperlinks are removed I can close this this was the previous uh, activity which was breaking so I can go here and I say run the file and no error I can just go to the main which is my complete robotics enterprise framework run right because re framework is also using the same approach of read range to read the config file and that's why you are getting that error right so now you can see my process is completed the error is because of the some other things because the queue does not exist but your actual error of uh, malformed uri is gone right so i hope you guys are able to successfully resolve this issue understand the core error and now you have two approaches and depending on your solution you can either go for the quick fix or you can actually change it to the excel application scope right any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well okay so with this wrapping this video here thank you for watching if you like this content please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video